In this video, we'll be working through question 4.3 of Math Lit Paper 2, November 21. If you'd like to download a copy of this question paper, the link is in the description below. Question 4.3 Mr. Fenter bought a chair which still has to be assembled. Below is a picture of the assembled chair showing the different parts with some dimensions in inches. We are given a note that states that 18 double prime equals 18 inches. We are instructed to use the information above to answer the questions that follow. 4.3.1 Write the following as a simplified ratio. The width of the chair to the height of the chair. From the picture we see that the width of the chair is 18 inches and the height of the chair is 42 inches. As a ratio this is written as 18 to 42. To find the simplified form of this ratio, we have to divide both of these numbers by their highest common factor. The factors of 18 is this, while the factors of 42 is this. The highest common factor of 18 and 42 is 6. So dividing 18 and 42 by 6, we get a simplified form of the ratio of width of the chair to the height of the chair of 3 to 7. 4.3.2 Convert the height of the chair to millimeters. You may use the following conversions. 1000 millimeters equals 3,28084 feet and 12 inches equals 1 foot. We will first convert the height of 42 inches to feet and then convert the feet to millimeters. So the height of the chair is 42 inches divided by 12 and this equals 3,5 feet. From 1000 millimeters equals 3,28084 feet. If we divide both sides of this equation by 3,28084, then 1 foot is 1000 millimeters divided by 3,28084, and this gives us a conversion factor of 1 foot equals 304,8 millimeters. The height of the chair in millimeters is 3,5 feet multiplied by 304,8 millimeters and this gives us a height of the chair as 1,066,8 millimeters. 4.3.3 Annex C shows pictures and written instructions for the first steps to assemble the chair. Choose an assembly instruction from column B that matches a picture in column A. Write only the letters 1, 2, 3 next to the question numbers 4.3.3a to 4.3.3c in your answer book. In Annex C, picture A shows the back slats, the back stretcher and back legs. Picture B shows the front stretcher and front legs. And picture C shows the chair without a seat. When we compare column A with column B, the best match is A corresponds with 3 in column B. Secure the back slats using glue and screws. B corresponds with 1 in column B. Attach the stretcher to the front legs as shown using glue and screws. And C corresponds with 2 in column B. Attach the front legs to the back legs with the stretches. 4.3.4 State where the P or Q represents the side stretcher. From the picture of the assembled chair, we see that the side stretcher is thinner than the stretcher. So Q represents the side stretcher. 4.3.5 The seat is shown in the sketch below. Describe how you would position the seat so that it is attached to the rest of the structure. Use the given letters A, B, C, D on the picture and S, R on the sketch. The notch labeled S is placed against B and the notch labeled R is placed against C. And that's going to be it for question 4.3. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to learn more, you can check out this video next.